Hey guys, Wild Kyle here. In today's video, I met up with Paleo Chris and we went scuba diving on one of Florida's most beautiful rivers. We were looking for Pleistocene mammal and reptile fossils. These are around 1.8 million to 10,000 years old, so some really cool stuff. We had the potential for mammoth, mastodon, giant ground sloth, and all kinds of cool animals from the Pleistocene period. But it felt insanely good to get into the water on a very hot summer day. We had a ton of fun. We found a ton of cool fossils. So let's get right to it, guys. Hope you enjoy. Chris and I are about to jump in the river and find some fossils, but look at that beautiful boy right there. He is a big snake. You just gotta be careful where you're walking, everybody, because they are out here in the woods, right by the river. But that's a beautiful snake right there. All right, man, see you later. We guys rolling down the river. Gonna go find some fossils today. Captain Paleo Chris, hey. I'm excited. All right, I'm about to jump in. It's gonna be cold. I'm ready. Whee! Don't look at my hair. It's embarrassing. You guys like my boots? I got some nice boots <laughs> at Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot my water shoes, but these are in my car already ruined. So I figured these would be, these would work. They're actually really comfortable. They're more, I feel more protected than dive boots. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're about to get down there. Good, good luck, Mr. Kyle. Woo, here we go. <laughs> All right, guys, Chris and I just got out of the river. We are wore out, but we found some awesome fossils. So we're gonna lay out everything here very soon after a short boat ride back to the ramp. We'll show you all the cool stuff we found. Let's go. Mm -hmm. 
Right, guys we are through scuba diving for the day look at all of those fossils chris and i absolutely killed it today look at all this crazy stuff so chris's stuff is kind of over this way mine's over here let's start over here with chris's stuff he got a ton of nice little eocene shark teeth so these are a lot older than the ones you see us find in the creek very very nice we got both got tons of giant armadillo osteoderms Imagine an armadillo the size of a VW bug. That stuff is absolutely insane. Got some alligator scoots. Alligator bone there. Nice horse incisor. That's pretty cool. Tons of other stuff. Little gator teeth, manatee teeth, fragments of horse teeth, and fragments of giant beaver teeth, tortoise leg spurs, all kinds of crazy stuff. Go over here to me. I got some very nice alligator osteoderms, so the armor on their back, super nice stuff there. Also a ton of the giant armadillo osteoderms. I love these things. There's just something about finding those that is absolutely amazing. One of my favorite finds is this right here. This is a giant beaver tooth, and the color on that thing is absolutely insane. So I was super happy with that. This would have been a big shark tooth right here. So this is the ancestor to the Megalodon, the Eocene ancestor, or Colatus. Would have had cusps on the side. Unfortunately, it's a little busted up. That big gator tooth right there. Very happy with that. That thing is nice. I crawled upstream from Chris for a while, and I ended up finding a spot with a ton of petrified wood in the form of these little sticks. Like, look, you can even see the little knots and stuff in them. And I found a ton of them. These things are really, really cool. And listen to that. That is solid. That is a rock. They're so cool. They're just like little knots and ends from trees and whatnot. Probably oak, stuff like that. But these are really, really cool pieces of petrified wood. I was very happy with that. Still super happy with all these armadillo scoots. Got a ton of those. I also got a giant armadillo claw core, which I was very happy with. I don't even know if I found one of those before, so that's super nice. And one of my favorite finds of the day was this giant ground sloth tooth. Check that thing out. These things are kind of hard to identify, but you can see a little bit of the line there, the chewing surface. That is a very, very nice tooth. So I was super happy with that. So overall, we had an absolutely insane day of scuba diving. We're going to be doing a lot more of this this summer, as long as we don't get any crazy storms that flood everything. So hopefully we can continue to do this for a while. So I'm going to put a link to Chris's channel in the description below. Make sure you go check that out. If you have not already, hit the subscribe button, smash that thumbs up button, leave a comment down below for me. Let me know if you want to see more videos where we find cool Pleistocene mammal stuff. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.